Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Tokyo Walking Tours, Explore Japan. But we're not in Tokyo. We are in Omiya, Saitama, the home of my office and my work. Had to come out here to uh, pick something up from the office and uh, yeah, well, that didn't work out either. So I thought I would take you guys along, probably like an extended tour of uh, Omiya during the day. Uh, to show you all the back alleys, uh, the east side and the west side. And then maybe we're gonna head up and I'm gonna show you the actual train museum. I can't pronounce the uh, name, but I will try once we get up there. Good afternoon, uh, everybody. Mindy's mom, Loretta, Nanny, The Relic, John McKee's World. Uh, I saw LMA here. Hmm. And I'm sure crazy enough in Tokyo Crow and everybody else will be in here. Sandra M, thank you for being here. Truly appreciate it. Trevor. Um, I think I saw Edward and Jason M here, Knight Riders gal. I think I said that twice now. OMS, you know how it is. So uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, yes, it is a rare or a medium rare Sunday live stream. Hi, Tara. Hi, Chris. Hey, Skipper. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I stopped uh, actually doing live streams on Sunday. Hey, Traveling Gabriel. Um, but I thought today, why not? And we still have our Patreon uh, private live stream tonight. So um, what is so special about Omiya? To me, uh, yes, it's in Saitama, but it's also, oh, thank you, Irvin. I appreciate it. Truly appreciate it. Um, yes, I actually do have a vlog. I'm going to link up here on the train museum uh, here in Omiya. Um, you can't live stream from there because the building inside uh, just cuts you out so it's not even worth it but uh, check out the vlog I'll post it up here later uh, why is Omiya so special to me because I call it the little Shinjuku um, you don't need to be in Tokyo in that damn cement city where I live and um, enjoy um, you know different areas hi Jackie Karanko it does offer its Kabukicho style area um, yes they do have LMA they do have restaurants. They do have bars and clubs here. They do, hey Peter, they do have lots of shopping. And not only that, but the station itself is pretty awesome too for shopping, for eating. I wish we could go inside, but we won't um, today. But um, on the east side is typically your, um, I guess your shopping, all your uh, nightclubs, your hostess clubs. Right now I'm standing in what I call the snack bar alley, which I'll show you in a minute. I've done a morning coffee stream from here before. You have the hub here, but you do have the hub on the other side. What area in Tokyo do you live in, Drew? Tokyo Dome. Um, Bunkyoku. Um, but on the other side, the west side, you have like your McDonald's, your Wendy's, your Burger King. You have your department stores. We have a thing called Sonic City, which is where the Japan Passport Place is. Uh, lots of conference rooms. So it really is anything that you want from Shinjuku, you can get here in Omiya. Um, it's really a great little city. Uh, I feel um, I've been uh, associated with Omiya for 15 years. Uh, egg slut too, right? Um, you know, Saitama, not Omiya, but Saitama itself over in Koshigaya has the uh, Japan's biggest and largest mall, uh, Koshigaya Lake Town. Um, there are so many amazing things in Saitama. Hey, Edward, um, that how could you not enjoy it? Everybody thinks Tokyo, but until you explore the Kanto area, even like up in Yamanashi to Ibaraki to Chiba, there's all kinds of places, but today we're in Omiya. So let's uh, come on, get to showing you guys uh, where I am here. So again, this is the morning coffee show area that I've been in. Uh, we might even do a, hey Carmen, we might do a uh, morning coffee show from here tomorrow. Oh wait, there's the snack cha-cha, the snack -a cha cha and it's, it's really dead because at night, this place will be happening. Now, usually I do my morning coffee show in an alleyway at the other end there. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, all the snack bars um, that are here. And they're all run by older uh, people, of course. Sustainable businesses? I have no idea. <laughs> you guys have probably seen uh, on this corner here, the girls' cafe. I've never seen it open. I have no idea. Philippine bars here. They got girls' uh, tiara over here. That thing's always going. Now, of course, if you, 
I come out of the alleyway down there during morning coffee. Um, and then I actually walk there and then go that way towards my office. I'm a couple alleyways down. And then this here is uh, pretty much the whole Omia area here. Of course, you're going to have all your uh, bars. You're going to have uh, your snack clubs. It's kind of like the red light district of Omi, I guess. But you do have restaurants like Coco Curry's here. Uh, Ikinari Steak actually was only survived only here for a month. <clears throat> but you have a lot of interesting things. But we're not going to go down that way. We're going to go back into the alleyways where uh, I usually do the morning coffees on some occasions here. But you do have a lot of different restaurants here. You do have, like, you can see Game there. That's a dining and darts bar up there. I've actually been there before with uh, Sven, one of my buddies. You have Casino Sushi over there. You got all kinds of uh, different things. And then, of course, you know, you have your things like this, of course. Media Cafe, this is Media Cafe Popeye. And then up here, this is uh, primarily where all the uh, hostess clubs are. Uh, going up into this area here. Um, this is a very busy street. A lot of Philippine, a lot of Russian, a lot of Japanese uh, clubs up in this way. Of course, it is in the daytime. I wouldn't want to be filming at night because all the uh, host guys or whatever you call them will be out trying to get customers, especially on a Saturday night here. Hey, Avocado, how are you? I wouldn't know. Sorry, I wasn't seeing the chat there, guys, so I'm a little bit behind. Sorry about that. Interesting. Girls Bar Melty. Hmm. Very plain looking, I guess you could say. Knockout Bar. They're, oh, you should see half the names that are uh, in here. It's crazy ass. Of course, I'm going to go down this alleyway here. You guys will recognize it, of course, but we're going to hit all the alleyways uh, on the east side here. Show you all the small little businesses. You know, you got Suntory Bar with Yamazaki there. Didn't know that was there actually until right now. That would be kind of interesting. It does look, they got a picture of what it looks like inside. That would actually be really nice to go inside. Huh. But they do have uh, other places here. Of course, the 7-Eleven is there where I've uh, been. And all, like every single one of these places is a little uh, host club. You know, it might only fit eight or 10 people. There's a stupid vending machine LMA made me do one day. This is a uh, $10 machine. Um, a lot of vloggers have done this, especially the one in Akihabara. Hey, Eyes Munchies. Eyes Munchies. Hi, I. How are you? $10. Pick a number. Get what you get. I've actually gotten a pretty good uh, couple things out of there. Of course, uh, our row of vending machines. And uh, now we're into the back here. Oh, thank you, Avocado. Truly appreciate it. Oh, look at this. You can get one free drink when upload images to SNS. Damn. Go to, go to Twitter or Instagram. That's all right. Get a free drink. What the hell? Why not, eh? And then look at these. These are all the uh, morning, co morning co all the uh, hostess clubs. Got a sports bar here I've never seen before. And as we're going down... You do have uh, a few snack clubs on this side here. As I turn around slowly, another alleyway just full of, uh, of uh, more snack bars and, and things like that. So you can actually go you know, wherever you want and find all kinds of different things. So um, I got to uh, find a ledge to put my mask on because I'm going to start getting into, into around people. I want to stay safe, of course. But uh, yeah, we're going to show you uh, pretty much everywhere around the east side of Omia. Maybe we'll hit the hub for a drink. Who knows? <laughs> Oops. Um, you got the bigger clubs going on down here. Uh, you got like Club La La. You got all these different clubs. New Manila. So it is, you know, quite busy. I just got to find a ledge here. Hold on one sec, guys. And... Uh, Oh, they just came out of a love hotel. Oops. Let me uh, get the ledge here going. I'm going to put, uh, put you guys on the garbage real quickly while I grab my mask. You guys can see me putting my mask on. <coughs> uh, 
Okay, that was better. But well, that was really weird. I thought the people that w I just saw, she, she walked that way and he walked that way. Such a good improvement. Hey, LMA, how are you? Glad to see you here. <coughs> okay, so, of course, I've taken you down these alleyways. Um, well, I guess we can go down this way real quickly. But like, look how it's, like this business here, in an alleyway, this should be on a main street, you know? Sakumo. This is obviously closed because of COVID. Hey, Mr. Boot, how are you, Nani? <coughs> There's so many amazing little, uh, this is uh, Stan Bar Fresco. It's actually uh, one of my favorites. I used to come here a lot, actually. Uh, many, many years ago, though. Club Giselle. So yeah, those are, that's pretty much like what's in the back streets here. On the one side, I would say the south, the east-south side of Omiya Station. We are coming out into the main uh, area here. Of course, you got karaoke in front of you. You're going to have, like, we were zigzagging all the way back in this way here, but you're going to have all kinds of uh, different businesses. This used to be a Don Quixote here. They changed it into a family mart. First time I ever got drunk in Japan was uh, right up, I think it was up in this area here. Used to be a bar, not, not anymore. Um, that story is, yeah, I'm not even gonna get into that. But now they have like uh, this new family mart here. They have a complete eating area here. They got glow if you're into smoking. The smoking area for around the station, you can see people kind of standing down in that area there. Um, but they do have what's really cool. They just built this. They have a terrace up here where you can actually just sit down, relax. Um, and instead of going into some dingy kind of uh, washroom area, back in here, these are all the rental bikes, but back in here you do have uh, washrooms uh, that you can uh, do and are very clean. They're cleaned every hour. And now we're breaking out into uh, Omiya Station. So I'm gonna stay out of this way for a minute though, because I wanna come over this way. <coughs> and just show you how many small businesses there are um, here in Omiya compared to Shinjuku. Like you see them all in Shinjuku, still alleyways. But it's all these like small businesses I just saw people getting their temperature taken before they actually walked in. Yes, there is a Ma McDonald's is right on the corner here. And there's a McDonald's right over there. There's two McDonald's within 250 meters of each other. It's crazy. This is actually the McDonald's I did a morning coffee show in one time. But we're going to walk up this way. They have this amazing tonkatsu sandwich place or tonkatsu place. They do have sandwiches here. But check that out, guys. This place is uh, amazing. I personally like this place, but isn't that awesome? If you like tonkatsu, I'll just uh, kind of slowly walk by here. Like, yeah, I'm six bucks, but they do have the bentos here that you can take out. A little expensive, actually. And then uh, they have the uh, katsudons and things like that. So there are more alleyways. Like, it just amazes me uh, how many alleyways are actually in the Japan area. Then I have to go to the bank right now. Oh, no, I don't. I forgot my book. Uh, this is Takishimaya uh, department store, uh, one of the major department stores here. But there are bigger ones, uh, Sogo and that, on the west side. So we are actually going to go uh, this way here. I'm going to kind of cut across. Omi is very, very, very dear to me, guys. Um, I think this is one of the better cities in Japan because, uh, yeah, there's a few people. Look at that station. It does house the Shinkansen also. Uh, the Keihin Tohoku line, the Saikyo line, uh, the Utsunomiya line, the Takasaki line, uh, the Shinkansen, they all come through here. And the Tobu line. Tobu Noda line also goes to uh, uh, Omiya station. So, you know, it is a lot of access. You can come from Chiba, you can come from Gunma. You can come from Tokyo, all up into here very easily, so.
Hug a kitty? Are you crazy? <laughs> Where is the second Maccas? It was back, at, it's attached to the station A1. If you saw me pointing. There's so much to see and do. I could go down this alleyway, but I'm gonna go uh, around and kind of show you uh, all the different businesses that are around here. Uh, yes, YB. Um, when I first started this vlog, I work about two blocks. So I work about six or seven blocks that way. It's about a ah, five to 10 minute walk to work. I don't walk that fast. This cha time here opened up about a year and a half, two years ago. It literally used to have 50 people in line at all times in the mornings and now hardly anybody. Bubble tea is overrated. All these uh, nice little businesses here. Oh, I like that. I've actually never frequented this store. Maybe I'm gonna have to come in here one day. Damn, that looks really good. I actually went to this jewelry store to get my watch fixed one time and it broke half an hour later. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Never go back there. And then over there, that yellow, that orange, uh, that orange sign there, that's the Piers Cafe where I get that breakfast set at once in a while for the morning coffee show. So you can see in relation to uh, where we are from Omia Station. I just want to see this motorcycle coming because these motorcycles look pretty freaking awesome to me. I don't know if you guys can see that. You don't see these kind of... Sounds like a Harley, but you never know. Oh, I'll, get, I'll catch them. I think they're going to come straight down this way anyways. SoftBank is here. You got all your uh, cell phone stores, of course. And then even on this side of the street, there's more uh, areas to watch and see. For all you uh, taco fans gindaco is right here they actually serve alcohol here uh this is a great udon um restaurant it's very cheap uh basically you can get uh any udon that you want uh with the fixings and stuff like that so that's pretty cool okay here comes those motorcycles i just gotta i gotta film them i want to see what they are this is for you mindy's mom Traffic jam, traffic jam. Okay, we'll keep walking. Well, actually, I don't want to walk because I'm going to be going down the next uh, alley. <coughs> oh yeah, check that out. Look at that, look at that. Well, if you're in the, in, in the motorcycles, there you go. So this is one of the uh, areas here. Um, all the shopping that you could do. Again, you have Gindaku, and I'll just walk straight down. Um, this is that whole udon place here. You like the teal with the saddlebags? I actually, I think I like the first one. I don't think I like teal. But like all these little interesting businesses that are along here. And don't forget, even, even if you go upstairs, you have all these businesses also. So always remember that when you are in Japan, look up. Because sometimes you might actually miss uh, a good business. This is a typical Japanese uh, candy store, of course. Cheap. Oh, they got Doritos. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Doritos with cheese. Love it, or taco flavor. Actually, when I make nachos, I like to use these ones. Damn, looks good to me. Hopefully we'll zigzag around all the different alleyways. I'm gonna go down here just a little bit. Um, this is Kinokura. Uh, everything in here, I believe is 280 yen, or it used to be. Oh, maybe not anymore. This is the same place. This used to be a 280 yen bar. So your beer, your food, everything in here was 280 yen, but now it's Kinokura, so it might be different. Yeah, I think it's different now. There is so much shopping and food here. Um, 
you know, they even got Family Mart stuck in here, but like seriously, like even like local uh, izakaya style things here are pretty awesome. You know, that's, how awesome is that? The ambiance is amazing. Go and have an afternoon uh, drink and some food or whatever. Of course, you're gonna have these fast food places here. There's an actual shrine right back there. But there's some electrical cords hanging down, so I'm not going in there. This here, this uh, izakaya here is very popular. Um, as I walk by, you'll see, of course, how popular it is. Um, yeah, nobody's got masks on, nobody's social distancing. It's a yakitori place, so you can even get the yakitori to go places like that. And then, of course, you know, this is only a station right in front again. So as soon as you come out of the east exit, you can come straight into these shopping areas. <laughs> this again is the main uh, the main street area and I'm telling you there's so so many places to see and things to do here um, they just built this new coffee shop over here uh, they got a mini stop here they got every convenience store you ever want I don't know what's going on here it looks like they got orange therapy fitness or whatever then we're gonna go down here and all these alleyways are connected in the back, as you'll, you'll soon see. Oh, it gets hot and sweaty when you're trying to talk full time behind a mask. There are some amazing um, restaurants back here. I've been to a couple of them. Um, not that one. But, you know, sometimes for work, we'll all go out for drinks or some dinner and uh, have something to uh, eat and drink. Uh, just, you know, some place that we pick to support local communities, of course. So, which is pretty cool, I think. You know, that restaurant, it's a sushi restaurant. Look out. I don't know if you guys can see inside there, but it's quite busy, actually. They have a uh, sushi uh, set here for a thousand yen, 800 yen, a thousand yen. So not too bad. It's not Kaiten sushi, but here is uh, Hamacho, one of the oldest uh, coffee places here in Omiya, the party hall Hamacho. And look, see, people, Japanese people know exactly where to go. You know, they'll find their favorite restaurants and they'll continue to go on and keep visiting and supporting them, right? You do, I do find it kind of strange that you have these biking areas in the back, but hey, space is space. Back here, they do catch a lot of people smoking, of course. And I've been, not caught, but I've had a cigarette back here too, of course. Ouch. My shoulder's getting sore trying to carry this damn gimbal. And again, another alleyway, right, where you have more businesses. I'll just kind of zoom down. I'm not gonna walk down there, but you can see like, you got Thai restaurants here. You got, uh, oh, a cheap vending machine there, 80 yen. Different uh, places to actually uh, see and do. Um, one of my favorite restaurants is actually right over here. This um, brown wooded uh, place, whatever you want to call it. Not very uh, popular, but uh, you can go, it's like a Korean barbecue kind of style place, yakiniku place, whatever you want to call it. Old school curry place. Never been here, always wanted to go. And then, of course, you have, uh, you know, you do have more karaoke here. So there is so much to see and do. There really, really is, everybody. Um, and that's why I say, like, if you come to Omiya, you won't be disappointed. Public stand is here, you know, the competition for the hub, of course. <coughs> Back out onto the main uh, drag, I guess, well, the second main drag. If you were to go straight up this way, it would take you up into, uh, right into uh, the northwest area of uh, Saitama itself. And of course, over here, you do have more uh, shopping areas, of course. This is how loud that pachinko is. 
This is the biggest pachinko in Omia. And they uh, have lineups every morning. It's part of the Rex complex. This used to be, years ago, a really cute little uh, shopping area. The lanterns at night used to light up. There's a few bars down there still that are quite old. But if you don't explore, you'll never know exactly uh, what you want. And then again, we're coming down another covered shopping area. You know, you do have uh, these kind of stores here. I would never shop at these places. You know, like, uh, is it good quality parts? I have no idea. Yeah, exactly, A1. They do have something for everything here. And that's why I said, like, you know, if you go to Omiya, I mean, uh, Shinjuku, and you're, you're living in the Saitama area, just stay in Saitama, you know? Like, they have this little bar here. They even use up there. This used to be a detour restaurant here years ago, and they actually have second levels also. A small little dollar store. Oh, not this one. Where's the dollar store? Oh, maybe I'm on the wrong spot. If you guys have ever been to Japan, Rakeru, this place here, has amazing bread. That's all I'm going to say. It just has amazing bread. Plain and simple. But look at, like, you know, two people enjoying beers there. That's pretty cool. I love the atmosphere here. It's very laid back. It's not like the hustle and bustle of... Uh, of Shinjuku. You know, there are still, a few, you know, a few people around. What a cute little store. I don't know how many of you would actually shop here, but this is a bento uh, little place. Pretty cheap, 600 yen. Never, I don't know the quality of it though. And above that, you have an, a, another uh, Thai restaurant up on the second, oh, it's a hair salon. Oh, that's on, he's on the third floor. So I don't even know if they have windows. Love this restaurant here, another uh, fast food kind of place. And these are all restaurants down in here. Just totally amazes me. And then of course you have karaoke. Well, they got a pizza and wine place over there too, which uh, I've actually never been to either, but 500 yen for all their pizzas. They got bottled beer, good place to go probably come down here off to the side of the alleyway is probably the better of the karaoke's karaoke mac if you are into karaoke like fang is this would be the place to come here it's super super cheap they do have smoking areas if you do smoke you used to be able to smoke in the karaoke bars but not anymore i believe uh you have to go to a smoking room now which only makes sense because it's good oh look at that oh my god it's it's a it's a pringles vending machine how awesome. You don't, what does that say? I can't even read it. Who was that? Oh, thank you, Jackie. I appreciate that. I didn't see it. I was busy looking around. Sorry. Thank you, dear. I just want to see what that Pringles machine is all about. You don't just eat, you don't just eat them, it says. I should go in and try it out, check it out, eh? Uh, did I do what this guy? Pringles machine. Pringles. Okay. Oh, check this out. So many different flavors. Okay, it's got $2 to play. And you're going to get either one, two, or three. So I'm going to play it. If I have 200 yen. Looks like you gotta stop the, the button down there. Okay, let's go. See that? Ready? Ready, go! Oh, I got one. God damn it. Well, that sucked. Just cost me two yen for our stupid Pringles. But what did we get? We got, ooh, we got ramen flavored Pringles. I've never seen that before. All right, let's get out of here. Too many people all of a sudden. 
Oh, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Look at that. Ramen flavored Pringles. How awesome is that? Oh, thank you, Carmen. Truly appreciate it. I've never seen ramen flavored Pringles. Be Merry Christmas is here? Are you freaking kidding me? I thought you'd be sleeping, girl. <coughs> here, let me uh, put you guys on a ledge here I found. If it'll work. And, uh, oh, <coughs> they had some very, very interesting uh, flavors inside there. I couldn't really make it out. I couldn't really see the pictures. Oh, have you? I'm sorry, Merry Christmas. Hello, and hi, Betty G, by the way. Um, I was wondering if you could get no, get no Pringles out of that machine. No, you get one, two, or three. You press the button, and uh, it'll just do 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 do. Uh, how is Hiromi feeling today? She's feeling great. She woke up about 11.15 this morning and uh, she's at home resting. Gonna have to check these out. Hello, EB. How are you? All right, you gotta keep going because uh, still got a lot more to show you guys. So, But yeah, ramen flavored Pringles. I'm so happy for that because I got the uh, Mexican ones and the Italian ones and the Japan ones. So, all right. Next up here is the oldest cafe in Saitama. This cafe on the corner here, uh, it's open 24 hours. It's so popular that you usually have to wait in line uh, at certain times. Now, they do have um, some pretty good uh, menu items here, of course. You know, this is their lunchtime menu zoom in if you can uh, i do recommend that the, their sandwiches here are the bomb like i've actually had personally had this one right here and it was crazy ass but as i walk by you can see how old it looks like inside um, i'll try and zoom in a little bit here but as you can see like the decorations are like all like 1940s and they've never changed anything in all the years that they uh they have been open here, so that's pretty cool. Again, we've hit another alleyway here. Uh, we're almost at the end of the, uh, now we're east-north, I guess you could say. But this is uh, pretty much the whole area here. Now you're hungry, John? <laughs> and of course, now we're gonna come down this way that's the main street over there that we were on earlier but this here is called yes ladies and gentlemen it's called funky street funky street there are two uh, restaurants here uh, that are i want to show you uh too bad they're not open right now but chef, it's uh chef's kitchen shun and uh oh there's only one now he they sold the other one but uh, they used to have two here. This here is uh, Chef's Kitchen Shun, and then they used to have another one right over there and um, for going upstairs up there. But now I guess they've changed it, which I haven't been here in a while. Just the name of the street. All these like back alley places here. This is Cafe and Bar Siegel. They've changed this. Huh. But again, you know, you find all these small little places. The Japanese know where to go. Crow drew thumbs up. Okay. Prin is Princess still awake, Jason? Now, this is kind of the end. Um, you can come down to this area here, but I'm going to go straight for a minute. I'm going to show you some, some craziness. Uh, parts of uh, Omiya here before we head back to the station and go over to the west side. Do it for Uncle Shiny. Hold on. Let me see. What did Jason say? No, he didn't say anything. Well, Uncle Shiny is here. If you are there, Princess. I hope you and mommy and daddy are doing well. Tell her that, Jason. Tell her. Tell her. So here, uh, we are basically at the end. If you were to go up here, this will take you over to the west side. I'm just going to wait for this big, big-ass truck to go past me. 
They actually have right here. Right, I know a friend of mine used to work. This is the uh, diving center. It's weird that it's here in Omia because, uh, well, we're not near any freaking water. Oh my God, they tag in Japan. What is tag? <laughs> oh my God, stop with the Dyson giveaway. Oh, this is interesting. I've never seen this place open. This is Shinkai. Oh, I know I do know this place, yeah. Little bar, lots of sake. A menu in Japanese, if you can read it. Oh, are you talking about... Oh, over there. See, I'm not down with this lingo, Mindy's mom. Hell, I didn't even know what the hell you were talking about the other day or last night. <laughs> and we have come now to kind of the end of the, uh, the system area. But <clears throat> basically, down in the, this area back in here, that's where you're going to have all your soap lands which I'm going to show you a little bit real quickly. This is the hidden part of uh, Omia. Uh, it's not hidden. It's just like nobody really comes around here. You do have a few restaurants here. I've ne never seen that alternative lounge before. I don't usually walk into this area. Trust me, I don't. I don't. But you'll start to see... Um, I'll, I'll zoom in from here. Um, they have like soap lands. So you can see this white building. Where's my finger? Over here. And all back in that way are like probably 10 different uh, soap lands places. Um, if you don't know what a soap land is, Google it. So that's kind of uh, this area. So on this side here, they have that. Where we first started is more of your bars and hostess clubs and stuff like that. And the rest of the area on the east side here, more tagging. Is that what I say? Tagging, tagging. Um, is normal shopping areas. Eating, whatever you want to call it. Hi, Island Girl. I thought he said, pull my finger. Did you fart? <laughs> all up in here, all in these businesses up here, you have massive uh, places to uh, eat, drink. There's beauty salons everywhere. Like, I was talking with somebody, because here's the hub. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, the hub, yes, the hub, the hub, the hub, which is not open. <laughs> I would have went for a beer if it was open. Damn. <coughs> is it open? No, it's closed. Uh, but I was talking to people in here, and they all go into these buildings here. There are like, what'd she say, like 18 different beauty places all in just this area right here. It's crazy. Oh, that pizza looks good. Damn. Look at this nice little... This is a very nice looking uh, business. Yukatas. John, how are you? Red Robins, yum. <laughs> so now we're gonna head back to the station. Go over to the west side. Hopefully I can, if I got time, I can hit the train museum. I gotta get to my dentist by 3.30. But this is, uh, you know, we were all in the back alleys, tromping around back there. And uh, now I'm just gonna walk down the main street. Of course you have Asakusa Tendon, which is right here. Uh, the tempura place that I premiered video this morning. If you haven't watched it, please check it out. I would truly appreciate it. This to me is the number one Japanese fast food place. Uh, it's, it's healthier than McDonald's and all that. Um, like seriously, you can get a tempura bowl there for 500 yen people. Like seriously, 500 yen. 740, 650. Um, it, it truly, truly is awesome to uh, see all this tempura. And you get it in less than five minutes. Less than five minutes, people. Hey, Moby, how are you? So yeah, let's head uh, over into the station area. <laughs> and I'll show you, hopefully I don't cut out inside the station. Uh, I can't show you inside the station track area, but I can show you a few businesses that I, I do go to. 
Um, what did it say? Even that kid placed his head, hands up in the air in excitement for 500 yen tempura. <laughs> yeah. Inside here, actually, I met Moto Gnome and I had coffee uh, in this detour here. You have the Don Quixote in here, you have Hamazushi in here, you have dollar stores in here. It is a good little, this actually 10 years ago used to be the loft department store. I don't know why they closed it down, but now they got Don Quixote, which is okay. You know, it's called Raccoon Street. Um, a lot of businesses inside there. It doesn't look like much, but once you're inside, you have four floors of a lot of different businesses. Of course, Motonome is my friend. You know, they, they're always constantly changing the businesses around here. See, and these, this is a look now to those alleyways we were walking down. All those kind of alleyways and stuff, right? <coughs> Which makes it look pretty cool. McDonald's girls on brakes. Now we're coming out into the, uh, this is a new place here too. So I'm not sure what that is. And then A1, you were asking about the McDonald's. So earlier we walked by that McDonald's way over there and you asked, where is the other McDonald's? And the other McDonald's is right here. So you got one attached to the station. This here is a discount ticket store, by the way. And uh, the other McDonald's is right there. They do have seating upstairs. This is the east exit. But I'll show you a couple things before I go upstairs. Who A1 was asking about where the Maccas is. Another Gindako here. <laughs> If you go inside here, this is Lumine 1 area. See, it just opens up into so many different places. Little, uh, I'll show you this side first. This is the mini one. They used to be have Krispy Kreme inside here, but now they have like basically all this bread, which is pretty awesome. Which is cool. This is my favorite Taiyaki place here which is right over here. Look at the taiyaki. It's amazing. Taiyaki, taiyaki, taiyaki. Love it, love it. You have uh, different, you know, different uh, snack gift stores along here. And then this will actually take you out to the Tobu line. Yeah, there's a Starbucks. Mm. You have Mr. Waffle over here. Inside, if you're not familiar with Tommy's, which is a place that I love, and I didn't realize it was actually in here, is inside there. As I walk back out the other way, on this side here, you have like a green tea shop, of course. This here is Seiju Ishi, a very expensive. It's the same one at Tokyo Dome that I always talk about. It's so expensive. People still shop here, though. I just, it amazes me. What I do do is I do shop at the end store up here because sometimes you can get some good uh, meat uh, on sale. What are you talking about so gross? And of course, you know, they're going to have your takeout uh, fried foods and stuff. But this store is uh, a pretty decent place. It's called New Quick. And then as you come out here, you, sometimes there's lineups. You have Gindako. You got an onigiri store. Specializes in onigiri. Yum. You got the Hokkaido Shio Sangji, which is, again, more fried food, bento, things like that. Pearl Lady. Yakitori. All the yakitori that you could ever get. Roughly about a dollar to a dollar, looks like 180 yen. Mr. Minute. And then they just built these two restaurants here uh, in the last six months. So I haven't checked out those yet. Um, but you got Tokyo based ramen over there. And then I'm not sure exactly what the name of this one is, but let's go up the escalator into the station. 
<laughs> it truly, truly is, guys, an amazing place. Oh, thank you, Merry Christmas. Grab something yummy from Starbucks after your dentist for or tomorrow. Food. Oh, thank you. I'm surprised you're still here. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I got to design my stuff. Oh. Wait till we get inside here. Now, this is not inside the, the shopping area of the station, but uh, yeah. As soon as I come up the escalator, I'll, I'll show you. Boom, you got the Ginza Cozy Corner. Over here, like everywhere, there's always things. You got the, uh, the Ringo, which sells the uh, apple pies. You got Mannequin, which sells the waffles. There's a convenience store just around here. Luminate Department Store 1 is inside there. They do have this all store also in Ikebukuro. They have this in Ginza. You know, these three stores are quite popular everywhere you go. Starbucks, right up there. Now this is when I come to work every day, I come out of the, uh, the exit right over there and pass by Starbucks 99% of the time. But uh, I'm just walking inside uh, the station area to the other side here. But you still have a lot of other businesses. It's still quite busy. <laughs> so, and social distancing guys, by the way, is just out of the norm here now. Everybody feels, you know, whatever. Up here, look at this though. You, this is part of Luminae 2, which is uh, the shopping up there. And as I turn around, there is the Starbucks looking out over the station. I would actually like to do a morning coffee up there, but the problem is, is that the music they play is too freaking loud. Too freaking loud. Easy, Elamir, I'll time you out. <laughs> Becker's Burger. Never tried their burger. Sat in their smoking room having coffee. But uh, maybe one day. This here is into Luminate 2, the shopping area for the ladies. So you can actually get into these department stores without actually having to go into uh, the, the actual station itself. A huge ticket, uh, JR ticketing machine area. <laughs> and we haven't even hit the west side. What do you guys think so far? A lot to see, a lot to do, a lot to eat, a lot of drinking, all kinds of stuff happening here. I'm trying to stay away from everybody. My favorite uh, train store is right over here. Um, it's called... Uh, the General Store Rail Yard. Everything you want and uh, love about trains, you can really get here. Um, <laughs> like the, uh, what you call it? The, the bento box uh, Wanamaker one last year uh, was from this store. But they have everything, stationery to maps, to uh, clothing, to uh, calendars. It's freaking crazy, man. If you love trains, definitely a store to come to. Oh yeah, we are now on the south gate, so that would be the Shinkansen over there, which is also part of Omiya. Now you can come down here, and this will take you to uh, the new line. Um, it's a different train line, it's not part of JR. There is a Macca's down there too. So there's actually three, four McDonald's around Omiya Station, because we'll, I'll show you another one too. And then as we come out the west side here, it's totally different than the east side. Good night, Betty G. Now here is the west side. Oh, thank you, Erika. Check that out. This is uh, Arche. So like I said, for department stores, you have Marui or the Oi Oi. You have Arche. And then oh, way over there, you have Sogo. So Burger King is over there. Wendy's is in here. They have Subway over there every uh place that you could actually want to have is over here mcdonald's again right over there it's freaking uh cra a lot of people go to the east side because they like to drink and you know do whatever they do but the west side you know if you're a shopper this is the place to come now i can't go into the department stores so i'm gonna start heading up to the train museum soon but 
Um, over in this area, way over here, you do have some back alleys, but it's not much to show you. Just a bunch of izakayas. Sogo department store. You know, you, you can see that elevator going up there. They do have restaurants on the top. They do have in the basement some uh, grocery stores. Burger King is in there. That's where actually, the Burger King is uh, kind of down in the basement over there. Uh, that's where I did the ugly burger uh, review. This here, this is kind of like your 109 uh, in Shibuya for women. Um, it, it's got a Gold's Gym in there, I guess for women. Um, but honestly, when I go in there, it's 95% women. So it's kind of like, they, they kind of call it like the, the 109 of Shibuya. I have no idea what he's talking about. You can see Wendy's is right here, of course. And then I was talking earlier about Sonic City, a convention center area. That's this big building over here. What's wrong with that? The, the, the store you mean, John? What is, what's a 109? It's a, it's a famous shopping area in Shibuya or a building in Shibuya. <laughs> you have places like Gongcha over there. Um, there's so, so many uh, shopping areas. I'm going to go downstairs just to give you a bit of a street level uh, view. And I'm going to have a quick smoke too. Wendy's First Kitchen is there. There's Starbucks over here. There's another hub on this side. So, you know. Everything that I want is still over here too, but I still, I do prefer the east side better. Outdoor smoking areas, of course. So, would you visit Omiya? Um, I'm sure you want the, uh, the realization of, uh, need some curry or sukiyaki. Um, of you know of visiting uh, Shinjuku and all those areas and stuff, but I'm telling you, Omiya really has it all. It really does, and I, I really um, you know I feel at home here. Um, you know, obviously I've been working here for 15 years, um, but it's not as expensive as living in Shinjuku. Um, it's quieter, I guess you could say. You know, there's still a lot of people around here. But seriously, everything you want is here. It really is. So. And you got Shinkansen's too. I can't speak up too loud because I'm in with a bunch of people, Carmen. Yes, Jason P, more blue collar. And you know that already, I think. All right, let's go. Waste of a cigarette, but. All right. Of course, A1. This here is the Wendy's. Now you get your food here, but then you got to carry it and go all the way up there. So it's kind of a weird setup. But I'll show you guys uh, a little bit of the west side here. <coughs> oh, ECC. Ugh. So this here is the Sogo department store. I'm just going to walk by, of course. You have a really uh, big bit camera over here also, which actually I have to go to, but I've been trying to, uh, on the GoPro site, uh, get a, the media mod for the GoPro 9. And uh, I had it in my shopping cart and then I lost it. It's always sold out. ECC is an English teaching company. You still have more shopping over here. Like it's, it's totally crazy. 
Oh, that's cool. Huh. Gar. Tomads. Tomads. And then we'll have a lot of uh, back alleys in this way too. I do have to get to the main street to start walking. Burger King is right there. Does the GoPro what? Come with a suction cup for your head? <laughs> You're not funny. So this here is all uh, Super uh, Sonic City. Um, it is a huge place. So many things inside, of course, as we walk around the corner here. I don't know if you guys remember one time I was, I was uh, having some beer and sausage. That was actually in this area here. Over here, tasty quick value. Yakiniku. The hub. Now the hub here is down in the basement. And then there's the tar box. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said tar box. A great little restaurant. I don't know the name of it. It's more Chinese, but freaking awesome. Another McDonald's right here. We're going to zigzag around here in a second here. So we got McDonald's here. So that's five McDonald's already. Freaking crazy, eh? Sorry, I was just scrolling right there. I saw that. Yeah, I kind of ignore them. <laughs> Here you have Kotobuki. Uh, it's filled with uh, a few things inside, but uh, check it out. Check that out. I see LMA, Moto Gnome, Jason M. Damn. Which one is which, though? Oh, who's that? Who would that be, I wonder? Oh, yeah, and Edward, I forgot to uh, give you a shout-out. Uh, thank you for uh, following me on Instagram. I saw that uh, earlier. Ah, uh, typically I might uh, wave back, but... Not sure. Honestly, I don't know what Kotobuki is. I just know that a lot of people go there. Now we're kind of walking. Um, this is the back end of that uh, place. Uh, it's got the Gold's Gym and all the women's shopping and stuff. Over in this area, it starts to die out. And this is what we're going to be walking out this way anyways. Um, department stores. This is uh, Marui. As you can see, Marui up here. And everything is connected by a second level walkway from Sogo all the way over to Marui. So you don't even have to go down to the ground level, which is okay. Back in this area right over there, we're not going there, but there are still, again, more back alleys, more little izakayas. I swear to God, anything you want is here. It really, really is. I'm just going to take my mask off now. I'm not around so many people now, so... Um, so yeah, that's kind of like east and west of uh, Omiya. Now I'm going to walk up. It might take me a little bit. Uh, I've got about another 20 minutes or so. Um, I want to try and show you the train museum. If I can make it. Um, to get to the train museum, you have to take the Omiya New Line, I guess it's called. Um, it's like a little uh, shuttle. Maybe 12 stops only long, length in length. Um, <coughs> but... Uh, second stop wait first stop uh, from Omiya is the train museum and uh, like I said I'll, I'll have it linked up here uh, the train museum vlog freaking amazing people but hopefully we can show you a little bit of uh, the outside and uh, then walk around the back and show you if I can get access to the back across the train tracks uh, what it looks like for all you train enthusiasts anyways if you are a train enthusiast My knee feels like it's about to give out, but 
I need to walk. I need my exercise, people. We've got to do this. That's basically the end of uh, the station itself. The actual uh, train line I was talking about is right over there too. The only thing that drives me crazy about Japan, are you staying hydrated? I am. I have actually, honestly, I, Night Riders, I haven't had any water yet, but I will. Um, <laughs> but I have ramen Pringle flavored chips. There's an orange sign right over there. A great place to exchange money if you're in the Omiya area. One of the better places, better rates. God, I hate these. If that was happening in America, would they put up with it? Would you put up with it? Oh, cool mini. Just a yapping. My God, lady, be quiet. This bridge here was, we were underneath here earlier. Uh, looking at the soap, or well, showing you the soap land. That's the same bridge, the road that would come up over to the west side here. Jexer, uh, fitness place. See, why don't they pull her over? You know, you, you can't talk on your cell phone and drive, yet she is, uh, see this guy, like, let the car go, buddy. You don't need to be a, a moron about it. Sukiya, I was actually watching Cheap Charlie uh, Chronicles or Big World Travel, whatever channel name he is now. Um, he was in, he's in Mexico. Uh, remember that guy that tipped me really big, that Luis Cabo guy? He comes from Cheap Charlie's ch uh, channel. Uh, but he was in Mexico and they have a Sukiya over in Mexico and I was really shocked and pleasantly surprised. All right, now I can actually pay attention to the chat now that uh, I've gone out of uh, the area here. Um, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, so that's basically Omiya, um, east side and west side, all the back streets. There's so much to do um, in Omiya. You don't need to go to Shinjuku if you are in the Saitama area. Yes, this is a Tokyo walking tour, but we're in Omiya today, so. Spiraling 69, you know exactly what brought me here. So, <coughs> excuse me. So now we're gonna head out uh, one stop and hopefully I can uh, stay on course and uh, show you the train museum where we'll finish this uh, live stream. Uh, and I'm proud to present to Omiya to you guys. Um, because yeah, some people look down on Omiya. Jason Pointer said, is it more of a blue collar prefecture? Yes, they call it Dasai, uh, Dasai Tama. Uh, but you know what? Everything can't be Tokyo, Osaka, Fukuoka. You know, there are good things uh, about every place in Japan. And uh, honestly, for me, um, Omiya is one of them. You know, there's nothing wrong with this place. Uh, you got less people than uh, Tokyo. You still have all the comforts or the craziness that you want. Brother, will you take me on a walking tour when I visit Japan one day? Absolutely. I would. Well, too bad you can't come over in 2022. Um, I'm actually been in the process, guys, of uh, Nilsa, I think, was the one who gave me the idea. But, but um, I'm, in, I'm still in the process of uh, researching on getting this 10-day uh, meetup tour kind of style thing. Uh, maybe offering two different things like a five day and a 10 day kind of style thing. Um, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Update, since you were not reading, me and Mindy is a done deal, marriage confirmed. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> I, think, uh, I think somebody might have a problem with that. 
<sighs> oh my goodness. Well, they got a lot of uh, different signs here for trains. Obviously, we're getting close to the, uh, well, not that close, but getting close to the train museum here. Like, uh, these are old school. That's an E26. Damn, if you're into trains, the old... That is so cool. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. I'm going to start getting geeky on you guys about trains now. The D5. Wow. That is pretty freaking awesome, man. That is pretty freaking awesome. We're not even near. This is the railway gardens, it says here. I did not know about this. Railway Garden Promenade. So we're gonna have to go check it out. Am I boring you, Fang? Okay, it's just this here. Not much. Still, if you like trains, so many of these things are around. In Nagoya and compared, I should, you know. Was the one was was this one coal powered or steam? The D5. I think it was actually coal. Okay, I'm gonna take my mask off here, guys. It's getting too hot now, and nobody's around me. So, um, yeah, I don't know why, but I was never a train person until I came to Japan. Um, I guess you know because of the trains and the way they are here, just freaking awesome here I think um, the 12 year old boy trapped inside me is screaming in excitement hey Nicholas how are you <laughs> well the, the 35 year old well wait yeah the little boy trapped in me in my head is still excited about trains always um, even when I get on the train in the morning I get on uh, the Marinucci line and they have two different trains. They got a new train and an older train. And if I ever get the red new one that just came out six months ago, I'm all excited. I'm only riding at Tikebuku, which is three stops. But I guess, you know, you like what you like, right? Plain and simple, so. Oh. Got to do more walking here, people. I was at, I weighed myself this morning at 114 even. Uh, I am, I love trains, A1. Um, I don't know much about all the different trains and this and that, but just uh, something about trains just excites me. Cool train here on YouTube, visit the countryside of Japan, beautiful and yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and there's so many different kinds of trains here, people. Uh, especially when you go into the countryside, you'll get like a one-car train or a three-car train. It's crazy. I did not. I never promised that you how to make cheese curd video, Mr. Boot. I know myself. I would never do that. Okay, I got. Don't have much time, so we've got to walk faster. You were a conductor in past life. They're always on time. Mostly, yeah. I like the like the little one and three car train places, um, you know, out in the countryside and things like that. Um, truly freaking awesome, in my opinion. I don't know how far I gotta walk, but I just know that uh, I'm gonna be ending at the train museum, then I gotta get on the train, one stop, and then walk up to my dentist for 3:30. So, still got about 45 minutes, so I'm okay. Oh, uh, check this out. How cool. That's old. Love it. That is pretty cool. Walking down some quite boring uh, street here. Brother, how is your knee? Um, my knee's okay. It's as good as can be ex expected. I've actually ridden this train out to Yamanashi. It's a limited express train. Beautiful views out in Yamanashi, by the way.
That looks like uh, part of the Jobon line, maybe. Oops. Not sure where this one is from. Probably up north. Never seen that one before. Of course, we've all seen this one. That's part of the JR line. That's uh, probably was, uh, well, it said the Weno Tokyo line on it, which I take every day too, so. Good night, Mr. Boot. Mr. Aboot. I think this road is gonna curve down to the main road where I should have been walking in the first place, but I'm actually quite glad that I hit all, all these signs. Oh, like how beautiful is that? Two cars, Oceanside. Like that's pretty awesome. Man, I never saw this before. This is like crazy ass awesome to me. Three car train there. <laughs> the back one looks a little bit short. Yes, Anishima does have a great line, uh, Jason Pointer. You're absolutely right. Good night, Suki B. Sukebe. <laughs> All right, I think we're uh, getting close here. It's a pretty good walk, though. I'm, I'm trying to do about a five kilometer walk today. Um, by the time I finish, because after my dentist appointment, I will walk back to Omiya, uh, which is, I think, another five kilometers. So I'll get my 10 kilometers a day in. I feel fat. If you're ever bored, check out the All Stations channel. A UK couple went around all the stations in the UK. Oh, cool. I'll have to try and remember that. I'll probably forget, though. Maybe if you... Uh, Put it in the comments of this video later on i'll try and check it out that would help me anyways where is this damn station it's a lot further than i thought but i can see the train state the train tracks are like right up up here well, that's part of the shinkansen but the, the the train that i'm talking about actually goes uh on the same line as the shinkansen or well, beside it so Oh. Using a pedometer while tracking KM. I have something on my phone, Jason. So I can tr I can check that. It just does it automatically or whatever. <clears throat> That's the Shinkansen line there. That Shinkansen line will branch off. It'll go up to Sendai, Yamagata and all that. It'll also go over to... Uh, Niigata and all that so I walk 10 kilometers every day good for you John I try to get my 10k in um, that's why I like these explore Japans because like I can show you you know not everyday Japan but also I get my uh, my walk in too like how many vloggers show you just you know a rural area and try and make it exciting. Oh, look, there's an orange brown building, a yellow car. Okay, I'm done. Well, you don't want to travel with me, huh? <laughs> oh, I just missed the shuttle part. I'm going to zoom in here. You'll see the shuttle right there. It's only like three car three shuttles long. Wow, this station's a lot longer than I thought, people. But I can see it, it's right up there. So we're almost there. Woo! <coughs> Not much is here. You know, it's very residential all of a sudden now. And of course, over there, you can see the train, the train, that's the JR line. So the JR line is, is coming up over here. And then up here is the Shinkansen and the, uh, and the new shuttle. 
that is true. At least there's no hills. Oh, I can't believe I walked this far. Why would you say my name like that, Chris? Love how they park cars here, eh? I would get confused. How do I get my car down if I never knew how to do it? Crazy. Typical New York Japanese houses. Totally drew Maccas. I'm not near a McDonald's anymore there, Fang. Duffing. Have I walked too far? Oh shit. I don't think so. I think I'm at the right spot. I think I am. I think I am. Kind of boring. But again, it looks like they are uh, I I did wonder, but obviously it can get around. I just love parking in Japan. Um, you know, like the parking towers and things like that. You know, you drive your car in, it just takes your car and parks it up. Um, or parking things like that. Uh, less space, pretty freaking awesome in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> and you know, being Tokyo, being Japan, you know, space is limited, of course, because you know, um, you know, we're still, Japan is an island, of course, and it's still made up more mountains in its areas than uh, flatland so yeah I guess you got to build where you got to build right and actually parking here can be a premium like I bet you right over there there's a parking somebody's got a five car parking area I bet you they're charging at least 75 bucks to $100 a month $150 a month at least Okay, we have hit the train museum. I can see the train museum kind of, uh, that's the edge of the uh, train museum, the south side. I know LMA. Go frickin' figure. I can never pronounce the name of this station. Tetsu Sarlalad thing or other. I'll try and when I when I read it again, I'll try and pronounce it. But this is where basically where the uh, Omiya Train Museum is. And I'm only going to be able to show you the outside area because we can't go inside. And uh, you're not allowed to carry gimbals. You can actually film inside with a handheld device. You can take pictures, but you're not allowed selfie sticks. You're not allowed gimbals, stabilizers, whatever you want to call them. So just know that when you uh, come to film, if you did. Hey, Abe, how are you? I'm glad you got the shirt. How is the shirt fitting you? Hope it's all well. Gretchen posted a picture of her shirt. The dude that she was doing the Drew. Love it. <coughs> this over here is all, uh, you can see that old train over there. The actual station is right there, and it's all attached. Shinkansen. So you can see the Shinkansen is there, and then this here is uh, up here is the actual uh, new shuttle track. Glad you're here, Abe. Thank you for being here. Truly appreciate it. Okay, we're almost there, people. And then I gotta go. Woo! When you come here, you do have parking, of course. You can see the big P. <laughs> Get it? Never mind.
Are you leaving, Fang? Sail not up. Okay, right around this corner here. Good job, Drew, for walking this far. Yeah, okay, A1. <laughs> oh, you're still watching? Oh, okay. Thank you for being here. All right, so here we are hitting the train museum. So I'm going to try and pronounce the train station name on the new Omiya New Shuttle line. So when you come here, this here is uh, the actual station here. Give him, well, how about giving me a thumbs up? That would be awesome. So this is the exit to the uh, train station here. Still don't see the station name, but. So again, um, it is called the Omiya New Shuttle. You do have a time board only to Omiya because that's uh, or uh, Uchira. I forget what the name is there. And this station name is called, let's, let's check it out. See, that, it's not very, uh, that's it. From uh, Uchijuku to Omiya. And they're calling it the Railway Museum, but in Japanese, it does say something else. It's Tets, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But surprisingly, they only call it the Railway Museum. Again, you do have uh, ticket machines, a very small little area here. And as I turn around, you walk right into the Railway Museum. Now to get in here, it is 1,330 yen for an adult. For uh, elementary, junior high school, and high school students, it is 620 yen. And then for children, like LMA, 310 yen. But just checking out this whole area, for me, is, is still pretty cool. There, that's, that's uh, thank you, Merry Christmas. Tetsudo Hakubutsukan. Tetsudo Hatsubutsukan. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Say that five times fast. No, just in my home, LMA. But yeah, if you're into trains, you can learn, you know, about all these uh, different things. A lot of people like to take pictures over here. They do have uh, things cordoned off, obviously, for COVID. I'm sure they have different COVID measures. You can go and sit up there for a minute, which I'm going to do in a minute. A lot of people like to take pictures right here that I've noticed before. And then as you come in here, this is the entrance here, which is over here. So this here is the whole entrance. Now, you, like I said, you can take pictures and video, but no gimbals, no selfie sticks, uh, nothing like that. And then when you go in, of course, they're gonna take your temperature. They're gonna do all this stuff here. And then the, the cool place inside is over there. Um, the, you, you used to be able to use the ticket machines, but I guess you gotta buy the tickets uh, up at the counter there, of course. And then we're gonna go finish up over here into this cool looking train contraption, caboose, whatever you wanna call it here. I think we can actually go all the way inside. I'll just wait for this lady here. You can see the under, the, the uh, undercarriage of uh, how it works and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And then, yeah, you can come up inside, sit down, have a relax, rest, whatever you want to do. It's got a fan going on. And then you can see the inside of how these old trains used to uh, actually work, right? Which I think is pretty dope. Learning how to drive a train uh, in Japan would be pretty cool. Um, not sure what, I guess it'd be for hot water or something like that. But... Uh, yeah, I'm going to sit down here for a sec, guys, and uh, take a rest. Oh. Which, I'm all hot and sweaty now. Whoa, very comfortable seats, very plush, very sinkable. 
So that is uh, Omia. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, really. Um, I think uh, for anybody that, you know, visits Tokyo area, uh, Omizu, maybe. Um, I think Omiya is worth a check out, you know, at least come shopping, uh, visit some of the local izakayas, the food. I'm here every day almost, um, and I just, I truly appreciate this area no matter what anybody says up there. People are going to say that they don't like it. You know what? As you can see through this video, there's so many places to visit, so many uh, amazing, good shopping, department store shopping for the ladies, boutique shops. Uh, for the guys, there's the red light district area, there's soap lands, there's love hotels, there's hostess and host, hostesses and hosts uh, all around. There's all kinds of things to do here. So <coughs> I will drink uh, water soon. Uh, don't worry. Thank you. Um, but yeah, guys, that is uh, my Explore Japan uh, Tokyo walking tour, even though we are in Omiya Saitama. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for the super chats. I truly, truly appreciate the support. Thank you, community. Thank you, Emoji Club members. Thank you, Patreon family, TD crew, Asylum members. Thank you, moderators. Seriously, thank you for being here. I truly uh, love the support and uh, thank you, really, everybody. Um, remember, please, uh, for the Patreon members, if you are a Patreon member, now is the time to sign up and you can sign up annually. I didn't say it the other way. Um, we do private live streams on uh, Saturday and Sunday nights. Um, so tonight, uh, I believe maybe 10 or 11, I still haven't decided what time yet, uh, but I'll send out an email. Um, I think we're going to be doing murder mystery this time because last night we got crazy. Um, but come join us and for stream club members also, um, I will post a link in the community tab for you to join too. So please check out these two videos over here and the Patreon link and subscribe button are right here. Until next time, keep it real, keep it raw, do yourself because I always do. Bye, everybody.